Hello everybody, my name is Harvey and I work for Duetech Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a hotspot using the click-through feature. It is quick and simple to set up and has the advantage of not needing a lot of authentication which is needed if you select Facebook or Google accounts. First, we make sure that we have the latest firmware installed and that your WAN is working properly. And then you can start to set up the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Enter an SSID name and a simple password for this demo. And do the same for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Now we will set up a hotspot profile. Type in a name and select the click through option. Note that you have various hotspot logins, example Facebook or Google accounts, or even a third party portal server that can charge the internet session for you. In this page, we will be able to change the aesthetic of the page. It will be up for you to customize it, but for this demo, we will use the default values. On this page, you will be able to add a few terms and conditions. The client may be compelled to click accept if he wants to continue. You can also customize your welcome message too. After clicking save and next, we get a page that allows the outbound connections to use port redirection or DMZ. There is also several options that you may try and test but we will just click through them for this demo. The final page will allow those who are familiar with the JSON API to make good of it as well as give you several web options for security. Note if you disable the HTTPS redirection then HTTPS browsing will time out without an error pop-up, so which can be confusing. So once you accept all the terms and conditions, you will fall on a landing page. Here we will select our traytech.com.au web page. And finally, we will assign the Wi-Fi SSIDs, which will be governed by this hotspot profile. Even LAN users can be compelled to use it. We will now see how we can use collected information of Wi-Fi users in the user's information page. You can see the IP address, the MAC address, expiry time, which are displayed immediately, or you can set up a small database on a USB stick. You will get a hotspot.db file, which you can manipulate using a free database such as MySQL. I'll show you where the DB file is stored on the USB. Unfortunately, Dretech routers do not have the resources to manage that database as such internally. Now we have a quota management feature set according to bandwidth limits, session limits, or idle time, etc. Please feel free to experiment with them. Now let's see what the user will get once it's connected to the Wi-Fi. You will get the welcome page and you must tick to accept the conditions and then submit. The designated web portal is displayed for the amount of time selected and the internet is made available as per the limit set. This concludes the setup of a hotspot on a Dretech router.